Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna to be talking about the question about chickens being able to fly. Can chickens fly and five myths debunked? All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So from time to time, we get the questions about the hen's ability to fly. So today we're gonna to answer this very question for you. The short answer is yes. As always though, there is more to the answer. And so stay tuned. Our backyard hens are the noble descendants of the red or gray jungle fowl and dinosaurs, believe it or not. These birds are still found in the wild in countries such as Vietnam, Thailand, Myanmar, and Laos in the Far East. In the wild, jungle fowl not only perch in trees, but they also roost in trees. They are very adept at flying to escape predators. They go to ground to scratch, forage, and lay eggs, but will quickly take to the air if alarmed. Let's start by looking at the most common chicken breeds and seeing which of them can fly. So which chickens can fly? The ability of, of a chicken to fly is usually determined by their breed type. Heavy breeds such as Orpingtons and Wyandotte's hens may fly about a foot off the ground for a very short distance. Their wings cannot give them the lift power needed for the size of the hen's body. If you've ever stood a distance from your birds and offered treats, then you'll have seen the heavier birds covering the ground much like a hovercraft in their hurry to see what you have for them. They sort of wobble from side to side, wings flapping madly in the rush to see what interesting tidbits you have. It's the Mediterranean breeds like the Ancoda and Leghorns that are known as flighty birds. Araconas too enjoy the challenge of flight and will sometimes roost up in the trees at night. I'm told that Red Rangers are determined to escape artists as well by several folks who have them in their flock. Spitzhabens are originally from Switzerland and also love to fly. If you have bantam hens, you'll know they can fly very well, achieving a considerable height if they are startled by a predator, they can fly up into a tree and roost there as long as is needed. In fact, some bantam breeds can do an almost vertical takeoff. The beauty of bantams is that if you really want to keep them confined, a high enclosed run with plenty of perches and boxes will keep them very happy and safe. Breeds that never seem to entertain the idea of flying are silkies and the Polish chicken. Neither breed is known for flying. It's almost as if it's beneath them to flap the wings and become airborne. Silkies do not fly because their feathers simply do not allow them to do so. You see, a silky's feathers are similar to the down of a baby chick. In fact, their feathers do not stick together like standard feather chickens. This is what prevents them from trapping air under their wings and taking flight. So why do chickens fly? Well, curiosity and determination. These two things are the why of chicken flight that is not initiated by predator. The grass is always greener, almost always in the neighbor's garden. Hens are intensely curious creatures and love to investigate new things, especially if it might be food or pleasure related. If you have neighbors that like to keep a well manicured lawn, lots of beautiful flower beds, planters, and perhaps a veggie garden, I can pretty much guarantee your chickens will be curious enough to try and visit that yard. After all, who can resist that lovely food to taste and mulch to bathe in? It takes a very short time for a couple of out of control hens to wreck a flower bed, pluck the flowers, scratch up the mulch, peck at the tomatoes, and have a fabulous dust bath. The other component is determination. If you have a four foot fence between you and the neighbor it should hold in your heavier birds such as australorps and barred rocks if you have a lighter breed they are likely to find no difficulty in going over the top given enough determination a curious hen will fly right over an eight foot fence with minimal effort a covered secure run will make your life less stressful of course a great reason to want to keep them in your yard is their safety once they're out of sight who knows what can happen a chicken that has flown a good distance because she was frightened or chased may be become so disoriented that she cannot find her way home sadly chickens that get lost rarely have a happy reunion with their their owners and flock mates. If you have chickens that are prone to flying over the fence and landing in the neighbor's yard where they scratch up the prized flowers and poop all over the place, try clipping their wings. It will keep the birds at home and keep neighborly relations civil. Chickens also fly out of excitement. If you and your chickens have a close relationship, they may become excited when they see you First thing in the morning, a happy chicken that wants treats or to spend time with you will almost likely start to run towards you and often their run turns into a flapping awkward flight towards you 
open the feed bin at supper time and you'll see a flock of chickens run slash fly towards you, hoping to get the first bit of feed once it hits the ground. Now, if you're interested in trimming or clipping your chicken's feathers, let's talk about how to do that. Trimming feathers is one way to try and limit the flying ability of your chicken. Notice I said try, some really determined hens have proven to their owners that they can still fly despite wing trimming. The idea is to trim the feathers of one wing so the bird cannot get an equal lift from both wings, giving them an unstable balance in takeoff and flight. Only in persistent offenders is it necessary to trim both wings. Trimming is a personal thing. Some folks don't believe in it, others swear by it. I can't say either way since my flock is free range and they have no gorgeous neighboring yards to admire or desire. The usual trimming involves the primary flight feathers only and seem to work as well as the deterrent for most birds. If the hen is more determined to fly and overcomes the first trimming, you can also trim the secondary feathers. Wing trimming is not a permanent solution each year when the bird molts, the new feathers that grow in will need to be trimmed as before. It is important to remember that when you trim the adult feathers you are cutting through hollow quills if you cut emerging pin feathers after the molt you will cause pain and bleeding it's vital to let the feathers grow out until the blood supply shuts down leaving hollow quills now let's talk about brailing if you have exhibition birds wing trimming will disqualify them from the showing there will be a second technique to prevent chickens from flying however it is called brailing brailing involves wrapping or binding the wing with some soft cord so that the wing cannot be opened for flight the most important points of brailing is to ensure the binding isn't too tight and constricting the blood flow and secondly removing the braille from the wing and applying to the other wing about every week or so. Obviously placing a restrictive device on the wing can cause injury or disability if done improperly. As far as I know it is done infrequently in chickens. Most folks preferring to trim the wings to prevent escape. If you have exhibition birds that like to fly, brailing may be the answer. Of course, it stands to reason that if you trim a braille bird, they need to be kept secure from predators since they will not be able to escape. Now let's talk about some interesting chicken flying facts. The longest recorded flight of a chicken was 13 seconds. The furthest recorded distance was 300 feet. And chickens can run at nine miles an hour. Humans can run at 12 to 15. As you probably know, chicks grow in their flight feathers somewhere between five and 10 weeks. We all smile at the proto flights of baby birds as they try out their little wing. Some flights end in near disaster, but it's all part of the learning process for later in life. Most chickens can fly short distances to roost and most roosts are accessible by a strategically planned hop. But if the roost is too high, there may be some flight involved. Chickens love roosting and their slight ability to fly helps them get where they need to go for bedtime so let's summarize so yes hens can fly it's simply a matter of how high or how far for each individual bird fortunately distance is usually not their prime objective gaining height to elude capture or predators or fly over obstacles so now you know that hens can be as mischievous and selectively deaf about flying the coop some will continue to try no matter how much you try to contain them it's the wild jungle fowl genes coming out the only true effective way to keep them contained is a covered run or a fence so high that it is impossible to get over although there's always one hen if you keep only heavier breeds in a well-secured area you're unlikely to have many problems with your ladies wandering out to the neighbors if you have flighty breeds i'm sure you might have already had them trying to escape i'm sure you have some funny stories to tell about your escape artist please be sure to share them in the comments and tell us how you dealt with it that's going to do it for us here at the happy chicken coop thanks for listening if you find our content interesting if you learn something new please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel with that. I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.